I'd like to tell you a bit about our mom, how she lived her life, and ultimately how she was helped to approach the end of her life at the hospice. When I think about mom, words like kind, generous, and selfless come immediately to mind. But quickly I moved to the incredible strength she demonstrated throughout her life. And in her usual humble way, a strength she would never acknowledge she even had. But it was strength she demonstrated for years, particularly while dealing with the tragic loss of both our father and our younger brother David. Dad suffered a lengthy illness at a young age, or at least what seems to me a young age now, and Mum was his principal caregiver for many years. She never questioned this role or complained about it in any way, and while this was a long and difficult time in her life, she was a rock within our family, both for Dad and for all of us. A number of years later, she demonstrated that same incredible strength with our younger brother David, once again, without question, taking on the role of caregiver, through his devastating illness, while at the same time always being there for the rest of us as we struggled with our own feelings of loss and helplessness. She showed us how to be strong even through the most difficult of times, simply, how she, simply by the way she lived her life. In her humble way, never thinking she was doing anything extraordinary, it was just who she was. And she had a seemingly endless capacity for unconditional love, particularly the love of her family, even at those times when we weren't all that lovable. Over the last years, Mum went through many adjustments in her life, selling her house and moving to an apartment, and then moving to an assisted living residence for seniors. As the person who was often helping others, it wasn't always easy for her to ask for assistance as her own independence was decreasing. She didn't want to be a bother. But while she made those adjustments work for her, at age 91 she had several falls and was hospitalized in early January. Her condition was such that a return to assisted living was not possible, and while already on wait lists for several nursing homes, we quickly added additional homes to the list and lowered the requirements to which we may be forced to consider. Ultimately, Mum was transferred from Stratford Hospital to Clinton Hospital, where we met Dr. Loretta, the first of several angels in our story. But it was clear that while she was getting good care in the hospital, she could not stay there indefinitely. There was no movement on the nursing home wait list we were on, and Mum's condition continued to slowly deteriorate. There was a lot of very concerned discussion with our, within our family about nursing homes, and could they even offer the kind of care that Mum so clearly needed, and we wanted for her. There were a number of sleepless nights trying to determine how we could proceed. And then we met with Dr. Loretta and staff at the Clinton Hospital who talked to us about hospice care, and specifically about here in residential hospice. And suddenly, a whole new world opened for us. We talked a great deal about the hospice, the type of care we could anticipate for Mum, and the type of environment the staff and volunteers created for the residents there. And while there was no doubt that Mum's condition could qualify for hospice care, would there be space for her? So with all fingers crossed, we waited for news, and within a few days we're told there was a space for Mum. We were elated. Moving to hospice care at Huron Residential was an amazing experience, both for Mum and the entire family. She was now in an environment where she was safe and could receive the intense personalized care that she so desperately needed at this stage of her life. She was treated with warmth and compassion, with a constant focus on making every moment of her day as comfortable as possible. Mum knew and accepted, and we knew and accepted, she was not going to get better. But the attention she received, both emotionally and physically at the hospice, made the final chapter of her life as positive as possible. And it didn't stop just with Mum. Hospice care extends to the entire family, and Kate and her team made themselves available to us constantly. Whether to talk about Mum's condition, funny stories about their interactions with her, or just chats about nothing in particular to give our minds a break from what was unfolding before us. They took us through a horrible time in our lives and made it feel like they had us by the hand to help us through it, and they did. Mum often talked of the staff as her angels, and I couldn't agree more. They were angels for all of us. Mum spoke freely about dying close to the end of her life and that she was not afraid of it. And although growing less responsive, she still maintained a sense of humor. Asked me once if I thought Dad had a girlfriend in heaven. <laughs> Knowing what a devoted couple they were, I assured her that she'd always been the only girl for Dad. <laughs> In talking with my brother later, he laughed and told me Mum had asked him the same thing. But at that point, Mum added, if there was a girlfriend, she'd be getting rid of her. And I thought, that's the mom I'll remember. 
I don't know what the end of Mom's life would have been like anywhere else, but I do know that it could not have been any more positive than it was under the care of the staff and volunteers at Huron Residential. Our family spent a lot of time at the hospice, and two or three times a week I would drive in from Toronto to visit with Mom. Each time I walked through the front door, I felt instantly comforted, even if I had yet to talk with anyone. And each time I left, I felt that things were going to be okay, that although Mom was only going to continue to slip away, she was being taken care of by a team of people who genuinely cared about her. And that was more than we ever thought we could hope for. So to everyone associated with here in Residential, we owe a huge debt of thanks. It is a very special group of people who fortunately for families like ours, found ourselves spending this time with them at Huron Residential. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your evening.